business is on terrace. Look at Javier's Cantina. That place is... Stay out of the lower city. That place is overrun with gangs. Greetings and good day. On behalf of the new Sith rulers, I am programmed to encourage you to enjoy your stay on Taurus. I am a protocol droid programmed to provide information to everyone on Taurus, citizens and visitors alike. Is there something I can do to serve you? The Sith are the new authority here on Taurus. They seek to preserve the customs of our world, also I am told. More than this I cannot say. May I be of any further service to you? The Taurus Tourism Board has issued a strong warning to all visitors to avoid the lower city. It is a violent and dangerous place you would do well to avoid. May I be of any further service to you? I am afraid that is impossible. Taurus is currently under a planet-wide quarantine. The Sith are allowing no one to arrive or leave except on official Sith business. May I be of any further service to you? Alien species have restricted access to the upper city. This is one of the most ancient traditions of Taurus, and the Sith have promised to preserve such traditions. Of course, I have yet to see them arrest a single alien for traveling the upper city without a permit. May I be of any further service to you? I am an employee of the Taurus government, programmed to provide information and guidance to any who require it. May I be of any further service to you? Then, if you would excuse me, I must continue my appointed rounds. I wonder if any of those Republic space pods survived crash landing in the Undercity. Taurus used to be a nice place before the Sith showed up and started bossing us around. I heard there's a swoop gang war in the lower city. They say you can get shot just walking in the streets down there. What's this? Another off-worlder? I didn't realize how many of you there were on Terrace until this Sith quarantine. Davik says you missed your last payment. Here, I I've got 50 credits, a down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Davik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? No, help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but are we gonna just let them drag this guy off? Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness here. <laughs> Take me away and kill me! My life warned me not to take a loan from Davik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead. You already helped me by saving me from those bounty hunters, so unless you have a spare 100 credits to give me so I can pay off Davik, there's nothing else you can do.
I'm getting out of here before any more of Davik's goons show up. You should do the same. Can't you see I'm busy with my duties? Go talk to Zelka if you need something. I see from your appearance that you are an off-worlder. Still, you are welcome here. I will not have it said that Zelka Foran refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Terrace. Do you require healing or medical supplies? treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Except the rat goop disease, of course. And the terrible affliction has plagued Terrace for many generations. It is spread by the rat goobs, horrible monsters that live in the Undercity below Terrace's great skyscrapers. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected will eventually mutate into rat ghouls themselves, becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. Mm, there is no antidote for the disease, though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Then the Sith arrived. They overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. If I could just get my hands on a sample of that serum, the Rakgul disease could be wiped from the face of Terrace forever. But I don't see how that's going to happen. I don't see how anyone could get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. I suppose the Sith patrols in the Undercity might have a sample of the serum on them, if they hadn't already used it because of a rat ghoul infection. But I doubt a patrol would just hand the serum over, and nobody is stupid enough to attack one of the Sith patrols, even in the Undercity. Please, don't say that! If the Sith hear you, they might think I'm suggesting you start attacking their patrols. They could shut me down. I only mentioned the serum because you asked. I don't actually expect anyone to get me the serum. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? I am quite busy maintaining the facility, but I suppose I could spare a bit of time to answer some questions. What would you like to know? <laughs> I know enough to be scared of them. I've heard about the brutality of the Sith. I know what they do to the planets they conquer. So far, all they've done is ask me some general questions, but I'm afraid they might one day decide to shut this facility down simply out of evil spite. I guess there's not much I can do about the Sith, except hope that the Republic finds a way to stop their conquest of the entire galaxy. I am quite busy maintaining the facility, but I suppose I could spare a bit of time to answer some questions. What would you like to know? I don't know much, but I'll tell you what I can. Do you want to know about Upper Terrace, or are you more interested in Lower Terrace and the Undercity? The people here in the Upper City generally like to think they're better than the rest of Terrace, but we're no better than anyone else. The people here can be selfish, greedy, arrogant, even prejudiced. That's why aliens need special permission to leave the Lower City. Maybe if more people in the Upper City weren't so self-centered, things wouldn't be so bad in the Lower City and the Undercity. The lower city has been overrun by swoop gangs and thugs. If you're going to travel down there, you better go on. If you don't get attacked by one of the swoop gangs, you'll probably end up beaten and robbed by one of Davik's thugs. Soon it will be as bad as the Undercity. Davik is the resident crime lord of Terrace. He deals in stolen goods, he trades in slaves and contraband, and it would take a month to list all the people he's made disappear. His slimy grasp even reaches here into Upper Terrace. Most of the shops pay him protection money, so he'll leave them alone. And the man is nothing but a thug. I guess I'm lucky. Since my medical facility doesn't make any profits, Davik doesn't bother me. But if you ask me, he's no better than the Sith. The Undercity is a wasteland, crawling with flesh-eating mutants called rat ghouls. I feel sorry for the outcasts that are forced to live there. 
Justice here on Terrace is swift and harsh. There are only two punishments, execution or banishment to the Undercity. Anyone banished can never return on pain of death. Even their descendants are forced to live in the depths beneath our great cities. Whenever I can, I send supplies to the Undercity to help ease the misery of their lives. Although there is nothing I can do to help those infected with the Rakul disease. I am quite busy maintaining the facility, but I suppose I could spare a bit of time to answer some questions. What would you like to know? Republic escape pods? I, no. Why would you ask me that? I don't know. Those pods crashed in the Undercity. I'm not involved in any way. I'm not defensive. I just don't like being accused of knowing something about those Republic pods. This is as bad as an interrogation by the Sith. Well, you don't look like you're with the Sith. Uh, I guess I can tell you my secret. Or rather, I can show you. Since the space battle overhead, people have been secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who crash-landed on the planet. I had to take them in. What choice did I have? Their injuries are terrible. Most won't survive. But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. And at least here, they're hidden away from the Sith. Well, for that, you have my thanks. It's good to know that at least some of these men ended up in compassionate hands. I hate to imagine what the Sith would do if they discovered these soldiers here. But since their initial questioning, the Sith have not returned, so it may be my fears are unfounded. I'm afraid there's nothing more anyone can do for these soldiers. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should return to the front in case anyone comes in needing medical attention. I've got an offer for you you might want to hear. Zelka isn't the only one who wants to get his hands on the Rakul serum. Davik Kang will pay you ten times what Zelka can if you can get the cure. Oh, come on. Everybody knows who Davik Kang is. He's the big boss around here. Gambling, smuggling, extortion. He's got a piece of all the action on Taris. I prefer to think of him as a role model. He started with nothing, and now he's got it all. Credits, power, women. It's the Teresian dream, right? Davik's interested in anything that can turn a profit. He could make a fortune selling the serum to anyone infected with the disease. Not like Zelka, who'll practically give it away. Davik isn't the kind of guy you can just walk up to, you know. He likes to keep his business at arm's length. The best thing to do is to take the Rakul serum to Zax. He runs the Lower City Bounty Office, but everyone knows he also works for Davik. He'll make it worth your while. Look... Zelka can't afford to pay me much. If you sell the serum to Davik, I can probably get a nice finder's fee for directing you to him. Hm, I'll just deny it. Who's Zelka gonna believe? Me or some off-world stranger? And be smart about this. You'll get a better deal selling to Davik. Then only the rich could afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer, right? If you find the Rakul serum, just take it to Zax in the Lower City Bounty Office. He works for Davik. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth.
Out of our way, citizen. We're on official Sith business. Just stand aside if you know what's good for you. I wonder if any of those Republic space pods survived crash landing in the Undercity. Yes, what's on your mind? Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. I've seen more than I should have wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter of these Sith animals can unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. I'm just a soldier. I go where the fleet admirals tell me to. I follow my orders and I do my duty. It, it's just... It doesn't seem right that doing that means I failed. I, I didn't. Yeah, no, I... That's not what I mean. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not making much sense. You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action. Keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. Hello there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kebla Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons, and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Anything I can do to help a potential customer out. What do you want to know? I heard a couple of pods crash down in the Undercity. I bet the crash sites have already been stripped clean by the Sith, though. Unless the Swoop Gangs or Davix men got there first. I don't have anything good to say about those Swoop Gangs. Zooming around on their Swoop bikes, terrorizing the lower city like a bunch of animals. Things weren't so bad when the Hidden Becks were running the show. But ever since the rise of the Black Vulcan Gang, <laughs> the lower city has been nothing short of a war zone. The Sith haven't even bothered trying to maintain order down there. And I heard a rumor that Davik's own people are having problems with the Black Vulcans now. Oh, Davik's a legitimate businessman, if you get my drift. Smuggling, slaving, extortion. Mm -hmm. They say he's a member of the Exchange, you know, the big intergalactic criminal organization. Mm. I've heard of the Exchange. Bad organization to cross. 
But if anyone has blockade breaking ships, however, it's them. I have to pay them a protection fee every month, but it's reasonable. And I get most of my inventory through Davik and his suppliers. So I'm just smart enough not to ask where it came from, you understand? Davik hates the Sith as much as anybody. The quarantine has put a real dent in his operations, too. But he's keeping a low profile as long as the occupation lasts. <laughs> Davik stays out of the way, and the Sith don't bother him. The swoop gangs could learn a thing or two from this tidy little arrangement instead of always going after each other. Uh... It's not smart to say bad things about the people in power, if you get my meaning. I just wish the Sith would ease up on the quarantine, though. They're killing my business. I can't say I like having them here in Upper City, but it could be worse, and we're still a lot better off than the Lower City, what with those swoop gangs and all. Oh, you're one of those off-worlders, aren't you? Come to Terrace for a short business trip and end up stuck here because of the Sith quarantine, right? 